India has long struggled with developing a homegrown jet engine for its fighter aircraft. The Kaveri engine program, launched in the 1980, was originally intended to power the HAL Tejas light combat aircraft with 80 kN of afterburning thrust. However, persistent challenges, including thrust-to-weight ratio issues, turbine durability problems during high-altitude testing, and metallurgical limitations, led to repeated delays. By 2008, the Kaveri was formally delinked from the Tejas program, leaving India reliant on imported GEF-404 and F-414 engines. Instead of abandoning the effort, the Defense Research and Development Organization and its gas turbine research establishment pivoted towards creating a derivative engine family. These derivatives would retain the proven Kaveri core while incorporating modular upgrades, improved materials, and lessons from earlier setbacks. Breakthrough, the Kaveri D1. This shift has now produced results. On September 20, 2025, Godridge Aerospace delivered India's first production standard, Kaveri derivative engine D1 to GTRE. The D1 is a dry, non-afterburning turbofan capable of generating 42 to 52 kilonewton of thrust. Unlike the original fighter-focused design, the D1 prioritizes fuel efficiency, reliability, and long endurance over raw supersonic performance. This makes it particularly suitable for the DRDO Guttuck Stealth Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, High Altitude, Long Endurance UAV, Auxiliary Power Units, and other aerospace applications. While it cannot power the Tejas at this stage, the D1 represents the first successful serial production, standard engine of the Kaveri program, an achievement decades in the making. Technology and Innovation The D1 builds on the low-bypass, twin-spool Kaveri core design but incorporates key innovations. Flat-rated performance for hot and high conditions. Full-authority digital engine control for precision and reliability. Improved metallurgy and turbine blade resilience, addressing earlier durability issues. A modular architecture, reducing costs and enabling faster adaptation for multiple platforms. Advanced features such as variable stator vanes in compressor stages for efficiency. This modular approach ensures easier maintenance, industrial scalability, and quicker integration with future designs. Public-private collaboration. The D1 is also a story of India's emerging aerospace industrial ecosystem. Alongside DRDO and GTRE, Leading firms such as Godridge Aerospace, HAL, Tata, BHEL, and Midhani have collaborated to provide critical inputs in manufacturing, metallurgy, and systems integration. The delivery of the first D1 validated India's ability to achieve industrial repeatability and material integrity through rigorous testing. Roadmap ahead, the Kaveri derivative program has a clear development roadmap. D2 and D3 drive variants with higher thrust outputs. A proposed 90 kN afterburning derivative, KD-90, to potentially replace imported engines in Tejas MK-1 and future platforms. Long-term integration with India's AMCA, with DRDO emphasizing intellectual property, Retention while exploring selective international partnerships. Spin-offs like the 12 MW Kaveri Marine Gas Turbine already demonstrate its broader industrial value for naval applications.
Historically, India's airframe and avionics technology advanced faster than propulsion, creating a critical gap in self-reliance. Funding also played a role, with the original Kaveri project supported at around $240 million, compared to France's $1.6 billion M88 program. Despite limited resources, the Kaveri derivatives now mark a turning point in India's aerospace story. The D1 milestone is not the end goal, it is a foundation stone. By addressing technological gaps in metallurgy and scaling up thrust in upcoming variants, India is laying the groundwork to one day field fully indigenous engines for its frontline fighters. Conclusion The Kaveri D1 is not yet ready for fighters like Tejas, but it represents the first major success in India's three-decade quest for a jet engine. Its role in powering drones like the Guttuck, its efficiency in long-endurance missions, and its potential evolution into afterburning variants. Signal that India is moving closer to self-reliance in combat aviation propulsion. What do you think about this milestone? Can the Kaveri program eventually match imported Western engines and power India's next-generation fighters? Let us know in the comments.